Alright, so this is a quick demo of Elite Copilot, a tool which I recently wrote, which in the current release does now support some very rudimental function of route finding as well. So you can use this as a one stop sat nav shop, so to say. So you can have voice guided navigation through the mostly known galaxy in Elite Dangerous. It relies on a list of star systems and their coordinates that is basically coming out of um, the Elite Explorers community. Uh, a lot of thanks goes out to those guys. Let me show how the thing works. So, here I have the tool. New route I'm going to clear the route for now. Let's assume I'm going on a trip from Seoul to Lava. And let's assume that I have a jump distance of 14 light years, which I'm going to put this on a second line here. It also says this in the explanation of the of the button here. It will the explanation will come up every time you press the find route button up there. So if you leave the jump distance out, it will just fill in a standard of 12. It will have trouble finding a route probably, but if you put it in, it'll take that. So let's assume, like I said, we're going to go from Seoul to Lava. Let's click the find route button. It's going to do its magic and work its way. And there we go. We have found this route with 16 steps with a 14 light year jump distance. I'm going to click set route to make it active. Upcoming jumps. Sierra, Oscar, Lima. As you can ben. hear, it's spelling Lima. out short words Hotel. with the NATO Sierra. alphabet. Eight. And it will just talk the longer names in plain. Lima. Hotel. Which sometimes Sierra. it's hard Eight. to understand Three. the um Seven. the window speech synthesis, but with the longer names usually you can figure it out because they have enough syllables so you can figure out in the list of available systems which one is actually talking about and if you would spell all that out with a NATO alphabet, it would be really long. You can turn those uh, the NATO alphabet completely off in the uh, dot, uh, .ini file. I do not have a configuration dialog for that yet, but there will probably be one in the future if enough people are interested in the tool. So we are already on the way. I'm already in LH3, LHS337. So my next jump is Tiapalan. And let's go there, and you will see if I switch back to the tool, I will actually check off the place that we've already been to and progress down the route. Let's pick the target here. If you have not jumped somewhere for a while, it will start repeating the upcoming systems. But if you're jumping somewhere, it will tell upcoming you where to go right jumps. away. Sierra, let's, Oscar, let's do that right now. Then. I'm going to let Lima. it talk the uh, Hotel, previous systems because Sierra, I have jumped Green, right away Cape, first and then I'm going to make the jump. Then Lima Hotel Sierra 3 3 7 We're now jumping. It should pick up where we're going. Centering system. Tire balance. 80 light years too late. Next jump. Lima. Hotel. Sierra 2. 4. 4. 1. So next one is LHS 2441. Let's pick that. And let's be on our way. Entering system. LHS twenty four forty one. Seventy eight light years too late. Next jump. Lima Hotel Sierra two five five two. As you've heard, it also announces the remaining distance in light years that you still have to have to go on your journey. So that gives you a rough estimate of how far you have progressed and how, lo how much longer you have to go. And with this interdiction, I will end this brief demo. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. If you like the tool, just leave me some feedback on Reddit. Or if you even like it a lot, leave me a little donation with a little smiley button in the window itself. Thanks a lot.
Goodbye, Commander.